Hello everyone, welcome to Grade Up. This is the course that is the ongoing course on theory of machine and vibrations. Till the last lecture, we have seen all the things that are covered in the simple mechanisms. We have seen different types of single simple mechanisms, the four bar mechanisms, the single slider crank mechanism and the double slider crank mechanism and all of their inversions. Check out the link below for free gate course that has more than 200 videos along with this video followed by doubt sessions, previous paper and more than 250 quiz from Greta. In this uh, lecture, we will see some of the questions that have appeared in the gate examination, in the recent concluded gate examinations of these topics. Okay, so let us begin. The first question that appeared in 2013, in the recent year in the 2013, the question that appeared says, a planar closed kinematic chain that is formed with rigid links PQ, QR, RS and SP and their respective lengths have been given as 2 meter, 3 meter, 2.5 meter and 2.7 meters okay and with all the revolute joints. So this is a 4 bar mechanism having the links as PQ, QR, RS and SP and with all the revolute joints or they are connected by a turning pairs or the <coughs> turning pairs or the turning pairs and the or the revolute pairs or the revolute joints. Then the question asks the link to be fixed to obtain a double rocker or a rocker rocker mechanism is. It is asking the which link is to be fixed to obtain a double rocker mechanism. Okay, so first of all, what we will do, we will draw this uh, figure according to the given dimensions that PQ, QR, you can just randomly draw it like this. Okay. Okay, wait, rather you draw it in this way, just a random, this is P, Q, R and S. Okay, the lengths have been given as 2 meter, 3 meter, 2.5 meter and 2.7 meter. <clears throat> okay, do not go by the diagram, it means the dimensions of the diagram, it is not to be, not to the scale diagram. Then it is asking that which link is to be fixed to get a double rocker mechanism, as we have seen when the link opposite to the shortest link is fixed then we get a double rocker mechanism in this the shortest link is this pq is the shortest link having the length of 2 meter which is the shortest so the link opposite to this is rs so rs is to be fixed to get a double rocker mechanism this is a very simple question so the correct answer is option c that is rs to be fixed to get a double rocker or a rocker rocker mechanism okay subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from trade up then the next question appeared in gate 2014 set 1 okay a circular object of radius r rolls without slipping rolls without slipping is a case of as you might know that this is the case of i have told you also this is the case of pure rolling okay this is the case of pure rolling rolling without slipping on a on a horizontal level floor with the center having the velocity v the velocity at the point of contact between the object and the floor is this is a very simple question let us see it through and figure this is the horizontal plane surface floor surface and this is a roller this is rolling okay this is the roller this is rolling and the velocity of the center is given as v so it is asking the velocity of this point the point of contact between the floor and the circular roller and it is asking the velocity of this point as you know that this is the instantaneous center of rotation instantaneous center of rotation <coughs> so the velocity of this point or the instantaneous center of rotation is zero so the answer is option a the velocity of this point of contact between the object and the floor is zero okay the next question 2015 set one similar kind of question the wheel of radius r rolls without slipping again the case of pure rolling on a horizontal surface shown below okay in this the diagram has already been given that this is the surface <coughs> and this is the roller of radius r if the velocity of point p is 2 10 meter per second in the horizontal direction the magnitude of velocity of point q in meter per second is this is the velocity of the center that has been given in the horizontal direction as 10 meter per second the velocity has been given as 10 meter per second and we have been asked the velocity of this point 
Q. We know that if this is rolling without slipping or the pure rolling, then we have an omega. This is rolling with an angular velocity omega. This is the instantaneous center of rotation. So the velocity of point P is equal to omega into R. This has been given as 10 meter per second. And we need to find the velocity of point Q. That is velocity of Q will be equal to 2 omega R because this distance, this whole distance is equal to how much? This whole distance is equal to 2R or the diameter, equal to the diameter. So this 2 omega R, this is equal to 2 into omega R is 10. So this answer is 20 meter per second. This is also again a very simple question asked in gate 2015 set 1. Next question from the same topic 2015 set 3. The degree of the number of degrees of freedom for the linkage shown in the figure is in this question we have to apply the Kurzbach equation this is a simple mechanism first of all we have to find the number of links and the number of joints okay and higher pairs if any see this is the fixed link so this is link one this is again a fixed link this is link one this is one this is one <coughs> joint the, or sorry this is the one link that is a ternary link the link is two this is again a ternary link having this is the link three okay this is one link link four and this is a link five okay so we have the total number of links that is denoted by l in the Kurzweil equation that is equal to five then we have to count the number of joints this is one joint okay sorry sorry we left one joint we left one link out here this is one also one link that is link six so the total number of links are six and the number of joints are one two three four five six and seven the total number of joints are seven and all are the binary joints okay the higher pair we don't have any higher pair so h is equal to higher pair denoted by h in the Kurzweil equation becomes zero and this mechanism do not have any redundant link <clears throat> so fr is also equal to zero so applying the Kurzweil equation that dof or simply f is equal to three into l minus one minus two j minus h minus fr this h goes of 0, fr goes 0 because they are not present. So 3 into l is 6 minus 1 minus 2 into 7. So this is 3 into 5 minus 2 into 7 which is equal to 15 minus 14. This is equal to 1. So the degree of freedom of this mechanism is 1. So the correct answer is option C. The degree of freedom is 1. So this is a kinematic chain. We have already discuss that what is a kinematic chain a kinematic chain is a mechanism having degree of freedom equal to one okay next question asked in gate 2016 set three the number of degrees of freedom in a planar mechanism having n links and j simple hinge joints is simple hinge joint simply means that these are talking about the revolute pairs or the binary joints okay this is the binary joints so the simple equation we know that Kurzweil equation last question also we have solved 3 into l minus 1 minus 2 j okay so 3 into links have been given as n so this is this is n links so this is n minus 1 minus 2 j you can see the option given here is 3 into n minus 1 minus 2 j so it will become 3 n minus 3 minus 2 j Okay, if it is given in this format, then this is the answer. If it is given in this format, then this is the answer. Okay, so by this you can go. I think there was a bracket out here in the given question. If this is a bracket out here, then this is the correct answer. The option number B that is 3 into n minus 1 minus 2 j. Okay, then the next question asked in this year's gate that is gate 2018 set 1 for an Oldham coupling used between two shafts old m coupling this is the inversion of a sing of a double slider crank mechanism in which the link connecting the two sliders is fixed okay which among the following statements are correct torsional load is transferred along shaft axis a velocity ratio of 1 is to 2 between shaft is obtained without using gears bending load is transferred transfers to shaft axis and rotation is transferred along shaft axis first of all in an old m coupling you know that what is an old m coupling it is used in the shafts having to transmit the power in the shafts which are having the lateral misalignment okay so <clears throat> first of all there is nothing the concept is nothing related to the transfers to the shaft axis and also the bending load is not transmitted or transferred due to the old m coupling so this option goes out 
So if the three option goes out, then this option goes, this option goes, okay? Then we are left with option number B and D, okay? Then a velocity ratio of 1 is to 2 between shafts is obtained without using gears. This statement does not have any context use, uh, regarding the old lamps coupling, so this also goes off. We are left with the correct answer as 1 and 4. So 1 and 4, that means the B option is the correct option that the old lamps coupling used between two shafts can be used for the tro transfer of trans uh, torsional load and the transfer of rotation, okay? So this is the uh, question asked in gate 2018 set 1. Then from the same year, one more question and the same set 2018 set 1 in a four bar mechanism is made up of links of lengths 100, 200, 300 and 350 mm. If the 350 mm link is fixed, the number of links that can rotate fully. Rotate fully means it is about, it is asking about the links that are used as crank. Okay, so let us first draw this 100, 200, 200 300 and, sorry, let me redraw it. This is a random, this is A, suppose this is B, this is C, this is D, okay. So this is 100, this is 200, this is 300 and this is 350, suppose like this it is. So it is saying that if the 350 is fixed, 350 is fixed, in this case that how many links will rotate fully. We know that in this mechanism, the shortest link is the AB link of length 100 and this is adjacent to the longest link, the 350 is the longest link, longest is fixed and this is adjacent to the shortest, <coughs> the shortest link of 100 mm is adjacent to the fixed link. So this mechanism, first of all, we understand that this mechanism is a crank rocker mechanism. This mechanism is a crank rocker mechanism. So in the crank rocker mechanism, we have only one link that can rotate fully. So the answer is that the number of links that can rotate fully is one and that is the link of 100 mm length okay so this is these are all some of the basic questions that have been asked in the recent gate examinations from 2013 to 2018 from this topic of simple mechanisms in the next lecture we will talk about the analysis the velocity analysis and then the acceleration analysis and then the kinematic and dynamic analysis of the mechanisms of the simple mechanisms okay till then if you have any queries you can post your queries on the grade up app you can download the app you can keep learning keep practicing the questions provided in the mock test and all those things mock test quizzes and you can ask your queries you can comment upon the content if you want and keep learning keep going see you in the next class till then thank you bye bye